Anyway, this will be part two in the benchmark. Uh, we're gonna run this one. Uh, not touching anything on this screen. Um, the only one I'll be touching is this. Instead of going on all low, like in the part one, we'll be setting everything to, uh, we're gonna go. Basic. Very low. All stations, go normal with everything. To the war zone. Of course, it's gonna take me away from now. I want that bird ready in three bites. Tomatoes go for normal. There we are. Headshed gave the green light. We're deploying you to the front lines. You're up. Yeah. Ready for shoots. Rules of engagement are simple. Normal. Quick, three on all threats. Anything that can go normal. Let's get this done. Battle Royale. Gas is approaching on your position. Move to the safe zone. Positive ID on multiple strongholds. This seems to be it. Locations are marked on your attack map. Everything I can set to normal is on normal. Why? Screen the drop. Now I am recording, just like in the previous video, I'm recording uh, this guy's doing the hidden stash too. I'm getting crazy frame stutters right now. Doing what you're doing. You didn't even fire your gun. Um, this is getting better than those drops. Gas is closing in. So on low. On low settings was averaging between like 110 to 120. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's happy. He's happy, I'm happy. He actually almost beat me there because I lost him in all the... Uh, He's got, he's got shields. I don't. That's an easy win. They got a better gun for you. I didn't touch the uh, the DLSS. That's still the same. I uh, set the quality. I think like 75 sharpness. It's it's running smoother now. Besides the little stutters we got dropping in. But uh, temperatures are actually staying at 60, mid 60s. On low settings, they were pushing like 68. I think the highest. But it is covering the ground. Not running too bad right now with uh, recording. Another hidden stash right here. We can go pop to see what's in there.
was already up here. Good. Oh, uh, there's another hidden stash down here. It's staying above, it's staying above 100, but it's not really going up into the 120s anymore. Loadout drop headed your way. Did what I was floating, but other than that, it seems to be sticking around on the 110. Oh, there goes the 90s. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. The temperature seems to be staying like two to three degrees lower on normal than it would be than it did on when I was running on low. I'm gonna try to make it to my loadie. Run open, bang on the door. No one's home. Which is awesome. And we just dip down to the 80s there, now it's 70. I don't understand why I'm dropping, like out here, I'm up in the hundreds. But once I get into a building, it drops. Enemy figure... dropping into the AO. You figure a building would be, uh, you'd be able to get more from it. You just boost for it. grenades at him so he's still around the building somewhere i'm gonna guess he went up on uh can't jump those that's exciting Weird that it drops lower when I'm inside a building. That is definitely strange. It seems like that guy just basically just F off. There he is. Enemy soldier incoming. <laughs> he can take it. We'll was spectating for a couple minutes just to uh, follow through with the benchmark a little bit more. Yeah, it seems to stay around 100, 110. Doesn't seem to go much higher than 110. As I say that, it went up to 116. So I wonder why the v, VRAM usage is capped at 75% when in the settings, I think I have it set to 90, right? Yeah, VRAM scale target 90. Yeah, this is still the same from the last video.
everything that I have set to normal is on normal. And that I can set to normal is on normal. It's never changed. There's nothing in here. Never changed. This kill striker has gotten a lot stronger. Gas is closing in. I, mean, I don't know what happened to your aim, but it was not there. Oh, you gotta redeploy. He could actually float back to his stuff if he wanted to. He's gonna go for money instead. And just rebuy his uh, loadie. Don't die. That, that was your, that's your own shadow. His own shadow scared him. We can snipe that. If he dies here, I think we'll follow it. You can still see there's still some frame stuttering going on. This is just on normal. Now, before I run the next video, there's a bunny. Shoot the bunny. Uh, before I go to high settings, I'm going to clear my shaders and refresh it, restart the game. You should do that before like a big change like I'm doing. Like apply the changes, but then clear shader and restart the game. Uh, at least that's what from from what I'm told, and it does seem to run a little bit smoother like that. But I think we'll call it here. I think there's enough evidence to say that it stays around 110. I am recording with the same computer, so expect, like I said before, expect like 10, 10 plus more frames. Uh, if you're just playing without recording. Yeah, that's it.